It is time for Lieutenant Governor Josh Green to take charge of Hawaii's coronavirus crisis. Today, I'm calling on every person in Hawaii to join me in demanding the resignation of Department of Health leaders, Bruce Anderson and Sarah Park, who are putting the lives of ourselves and our loved ones in grave danger by their failure to take necessary actions to protect us from the coronavirus. The latest example is their continued refusal to carry out the most basic and effective policies to prevent the spread of coronavirus contact tracing, testing, and isolation of those who have been in contact with someone who has the disease. On Saturday, the Department of Health announced they would begin contact tracing and testing of those in direct contact with confirmed COVID-19 cases, whether they had symptoms or not. On Monday, Bruce Anderson said that he couldn't keep up with contact tracing. On Tuesday, Bruce Anderson says they will not test anyone who does not have symptoms, whether they've been in direct contact with someone with coronavirus or not. Now, every step of the way, Dr. Park and Bruce Anderson have stubbornly resisted or delayed every action needed to contain and prevent the spread of coronavirus. Here are just a few examples. Uh, delayed implementation of flight traveler quarantines, uh, delayed suspension of cruise ships, delayed statewide stay-at-home orders, refused to test people without symptoms despite knowing for over a month that many people without symptoms have the virus and are spreading it to others. His refusal to implement contact tracing, testing, and isolation, failure to implement 100% posthumous COVID-19 testing for every Hawaii death. Now, Anderson and Park are either grossly out of touch or extremely negligent. If they are allowed to continue, they will unnecessarily be putting the people of Hawaii in greater danger, which will certainly lead to more infections, greater suffering, and deaths. Governor Ige needs to take action now and fire Bruce Anderson and Dr. Sarah Park. If Governor Ige refuses to fire them, then he should resign and allow Lieutenant Governor Green to step up and lead. I do not say this lightly, but our lives and the lives of our loved ones are at stake and I cannot remain silent.